When I originally posted my Rec Room Masters arcade cabinet with the X Arcade Tank Stick video, I posted it to the subreddit Cade, and one of the comments I got was this one. Please consider getting that tank stick out of there and building your own CPO. It takes away from the overall look. This person has no idea that I have no capability of building my own CPO, um, nor the desire to do that, but he was right about it detracting from the overall look for sure. It, that really came to a head when I got a second marquee. I got this Dr. Mario. The original Tinkstick graphics are bad with the Pango marquee, but it was definitely even worse with the uh, versus Dr. Mario marquee and I really started to get motivated on what am I going to do to make this thing look better and I began to think about options you know what would I do what do I just want it to be black and I decided that seemed kind of dumb and I finally came to the conclusion that doing a versus Nintendo cabinet control deck made a lot of sense because I liked having the flexibility of changing out these marquees from time to time, but I'm definitely not going to want to ch change this, the control deck out. And with the versus Nintendo system, that's essentially how they operated. You had a marquee with sort of this generic retro 80s feel. I thought it would be cool to give it a little bit of color. You know, you just have those black buttons on the standard tank stick with just the white start buttons and, you know, figured out that adding the red to the bottom here would, would work out really well. So the next thing to do was to find a vendor. And this was harder than I anticipated it would be. Rec Room Masters has a page, it's still linked from Google, but it's not something they offer any longer. I reached out and, to them and just confirmed that it's not a service they offer and uh, any longer, and they confirmed that. Reached out to a couple other vendors. Some of them surprisingly did not even answer me. Finally, I found an eBay seller that had a website as well, Rockstar Print. I reached out to them, and not only was it a service that they were offering, but they were offering customization at a great price. Uh, 28 pounds, that includes the shipping, uh, from the UK to the US. 28 pounds comes to a little over $40 US. Here's my original mock-up. Uh, that I just did in paint. The first mock-up came back. It was very close. I just made a couple touch-ups and then it was shut off. Um, done through PayPal. Super easy. While it was coming, I, I ordered some of the red, blue, and green buttons on Amazon. I didn't bother getting anything nice. Uh, these, these are just sort of the, the cheapest buttons I can find because those two bottom buttons are rarely used. Uh, those main six buttons are the most used. The two start buttons are they're just there for function so the feel of those buttons is pretty unimportant um, but i can confirm they definitely aren't as nice as the tank stick buttons so if you think those suck then these ones definitely suck but they're functional and cheap so um they also came with micro switches that definitely were not as nice as the ones that the tank stick includes as well so none of those are actually in my tank stick i just reused the micro switches that came with the tank stick while it was coming, I tried to think about, you know, I knew that I was going to have to pull all these buttons off and, you know, honestly dreading that a little bit. If this is just sort of a nice to have for you and not something you really are into doing, I probably caution you not to do this. It is going to be hours of work uh, to make this happen. Uh, but anyways, I, I labeled all the micro switches, really tried to keep things organized. Unfortunately, as in the process of pulling all of these off, when I actually did get it up, a lot of those stickers fell off, um, but I still think it was kind of helpful for the ones that survived just to help me get it back together in the right way. Um, I was surprised that I was able to put it back together correctly um, with no mistakes the first time around, meaning that I didn't swap from one button to the other. The way they've got it tied together, those tank sticks, it, it does just sort of lay out nicely. I, I think labeling is a good idea, but it's not a have to happen. While I was waiting for the graphics to arrive, I swapped out two of the red buttons just to get used to doing that how hard is it to pull the old one off you know how easy it is just to replace the micro switch on the on the new one just to, i think it gave myself some peace of mind and confidence before i actually took on the big project so 
Wasn't quite sure exactly what I would get when it when it arrived. It just came as a big sticker. I was glad to see that that it was already cut for the tank stick. So the shape and all of the buttons were already cut out, which was a huge help. So before I started to do anything with the big sticker, I knew I had to get all the buttons, the joysticks, and the trackball out of there and just sort of went to town. Like I said, I had practiced taking buttons off or replacing buttons before, knew how to take off the micro switches and, how to, and that I would be able to get them back in, no problem, and it would continue to work. I had not messed around with the sticks or the trackball. For the sticks, you just have to take off those micro switches and it has the unique, these the ones with the longer metal piece here, and I'm sure there's a technical term for that. I don't know it. Just pull those out and then you just need to unscrew right here in both cases and uh and then you can remove remove the screw and and get the end so that you can lay down the graphics i didn't pull out the sticks all the way that was totally fine i think that's what it was designed for the cutouts that are on the on the graphics are large enough to get the sticks through no problem and then we actually did the graphics. You know, that was a pretty quick process. My wife did help me. I would recommend that you have a friend or somebody help you with that part it, just to make it a little bit easier. I'm sure it's possible to do on your own, but definitely some help can, can be used. I'm sure it's a little easier um, with somebody else there and a second pair of hands to smooth things out and sort of relay and just sort of get it just right. And then I put it all back together it's swapping out those start buttons for the colors that I wanted to give it that versus look. Swapping out the red buttons as well. So it was really cool to see it all come together. Unfortunately, I over tightened one of the screws on the trackball and, and it did this to the graphics. And thinking back to videos on the on the cabinet, I, a lot of people mentioned don't over tighten these screws. We, it can mess with the graphics and I knew uh, I, you know, I wasn't even thinking that was possible. It didn't cross my mind. But as soon as I turned it over and saw that it did happen, I was like, oh my gosh, I over tightened it. So I have uh, taken an X-Acto knife and cleaned it up. I also noticed that the while the holes that they gave you for the joystick were uh, good enough to get it over, um, I was definitely bumping into that while I was playing. So uh, I also took an, that X-Acto knife and just made the joystick cutouts a little larger what i did is i would just sort of push the joystick in the direction and just sort of trace around it with it with the knife and that actually worked pretty well but unfortunately on the two-player controller you do see a little bit of the graphic peeking out in this case with that gray background while noticeable definitely not as bad as it could have been had i gone with you know something some other sort of background or graphic it would probably be a lot more of an eyesore but kind of got lucky there in a way i suppose um but yeah everything feels right back to normal now i just love this look uh, i think it looks a lot better now so hopefully my reddit commenter um from earlier uh agrees but even if he doesn't i certainly don't care you shouldn't care about reddit commenters either on your stuff it's just all about whatever works for you at the end of the day and what makes you happy so hopefully uh if you're if this is something you're considering to do with your tank stick this can give you some uh some ideas on on something you can do and you know the work it takes to make it happen i am certainly not the most handy guy i am not a bit like i said before i'm not about to build my own cpo but i was able to pull this off and for a great great price so uh thanks to rockstar arcade um for doing this for me and yeah uh, until next time.